Across the world, the shift to a carbon-neutral planet has begun. The need for additional renewable energy systems, technology and machinery puts copper at the heart of this transition. Both traditional and renewable energy systems rely on copper for efficient operations, and copper demand is set to double globally by 2050. The International Copper Association's members recognise their responsibility to reduce their own emissions. Reducing industry emissions expands the power of net zero to the technological solutions harnessing copper as part of the energy transition. ICA's members have committed to a goal of bringing their scope 1 and 2 emissions from copper production to net zero by 2050. To get there, members will follow the pathway to net zero, which sets out four abatement levers. Decarbonised electricity buy green energy through power purchase agreements or use on-site renewable power generation. Alternative fuels. Switching to alternative fuels like green hydrogen or biogas. Equipment electrification. From furnaces to haulage trucks, much of the equipment required for copper production can be electrified. And finally, energy efficiency. Consistent improvements in energy efficiency will ensure the power ICA members draw on goes further. ICA's members will also maximise partnerships along the entire value chain to secure copper as a sustainable solution for the long term. These partnerships will be critical to bringing our Scope 3 emissions as close to net zero as possible by 2050. To make all this possible, the copper industry requires key enabling conditions such as access to clean electricity and an effective regulatory environment. Making these changes will not only reduce greenhouse gas emissions, but also improve the environment and the quality of life in local communities. ICA members have already begun the net zero shift. The pathway to net zero complements and reinforces these decarbonisation efforts. The industry that is helping other sectors decarbonise is now going net zero itself. That's the power of zero. For more information, visit copperpathwaytozero.org.